Hi, so this is Liz and I'm here today because I was invited to protect my bumper and honestly it's something that I really really need. Even being a bax is still extremely hard to get in entrances, going on freeways, scraping, it just happens all the time so I'm ready to protect my bumper. So the crazy thing about this is that I've only had this bumper for one month and you can already see all the damage that I've done to it even though I'm on bags, which it's just surprising. Um, I think anyone could benefit out of this product, especially if you have a exotic car, lower car, doesn't matter if it's on bags, cups, coilovers, you definitely need something to protect your bumper, your lip, or whatever it is that your bumper has. So these are going to be the tools that we recommend to installing your slip load onto your car. First, we have the gloves to protect your hands, scissors, towel, rubbing alcohol, and adhesive promoter to make the glue more sticky. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. We have one sticker to promote the company. We have two promoters. We have instructions. And we have eight of these, which should be enough to protect your bumper. Um, step one will be degreasing the surface with some rubbing alcohol and a towel. <laughs> Step two, we'll be seeing where we should position our slip low. So for me, I've noticed that there's major damage on the front edges. So I'm going to start on this edge, slowly position it, position it right here and see where it will be better for my bumper. Step three, we'll be installing the promoter, simply opening it and rubbing it against your lip or bumper, mainly on the parts that you want to protect. So now that we apply the promoter, we're going to head and wait 60 seconds and then we'll install our Ziplo into the bumper. I'll go ahead and start applying it. Um, I'm going to choose this part because it's the part that has the most damage on it. So I'll slowly start by applying it, seeing where I want it to go and make sure I don't push too hard. That way, if I have to reposition it, I can do that later on. Second piece is going on, we'll make sure to follow up with the first piece, make sure you cover all edges. Over here you can see that I am going to follow up with the way my bumper is made. Then again, make sure not to push it all the way through, that way you can easily reapply it. So for the third piece, we notice that we do need to cut it, so we're going to go ahead and place it right here where we want it before removing the adhesive and make a line. Now that I have my mark, I'll go ahead and trim it. That way it fits perfectly into my bumper. We'll go ahead and start trimming it. Now that the piece is ready, we'll go ahead and put it onto the bumper. For this last one, it seems like I only need one square, so I'll go ahead and measure it and mark a line, then I'll go ahead and trim it. And I'm putting a second strip on just because it will protect my bumper better. And here we go, just put some pressure on it and should be good. And that's the second row, including the second row that was at most 30 minutes. Um, it's definitely going to help me on the road, less anxiety, no more getting stressed when going into driveways. It's perfect. I just finished my installation. I can't wait to go on the road and put it on the test. Don't forget to buy your own at sliplo.com. I'll see you guys on the road.
can't be worried about it, but with Slip Lum, good to go.